that was a fart. He just farted right then. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. Now that we've transitioned into one upload a week, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, but I am back. And with one very big difference today than all my other videos, I have a special guest. So, Miko's made an appearance a couple of times in my videos, but today's video is dedicated to this lovely little piglet, isn't it? This video is all about 10 things that you should know before getting a French Bulldog. So without further ado, let's go straight into this week's video and talk about the pros and cons of this lovely little pooch. Okay, so number one is the fact that they will literally be your baby. Now, French Bulldogs absolutely adore affection to the point where sometimes they can need a little bit too much affection. There's constant kisses, there's constant need for cuddles, and if you're all about that, like I am, then Frenchie is 100% for you. Just now, he's loving sitting on my lap, being like a little baby, so if you're going to get a French Bulldog, you need to know that they're going to want to be treated like a baby because they are all about affection and attention. Oh, you should. Number two is that they are very, very licky. So, Miko has an absolute obsession with licking all the time, okay? So, the worst is when you've just got out of the shower and he has an obsession with wet skin. So, he's there. As soon as you get out of the shower, he knows that you just got out of the shower because he will be there licking on your legs all the time. And this is just him giving kisses, I know, or he probably just likes the taste of your skin because, I mean, that's why a dog lick you. But French Bulldogs are very, very licky, and going with that, they also like to sneeze a lot. And completely unintentionally, they will sneeze on you. When Miko gets excited, he will start sneezing all over the place, and you best believe that that sneeze will go all over you. And it's, it's not the best. Number three is that their farts are the worst that you could ever imagine and like you you may have heard this already about frenchies if you haven't then well you're welcome because this is one of the major things you need to know but their farts are repulsive and they literally are as loud as a human's and they smell 10 times worse than any fart that i have ever smelt so bear that in mind it is constant constant farting and they smell absolutely toxic Number four kind of goes with the farting and that is that they snore and when I say snore I don't mean a cute little snore I mean he will snore louder than any human he has woken both me and my partner up at night with his snoring he is ridiculous he does sleep on the bed like I said he's our baby he will sleep in between us most nights or down the bottom of the bed and he always lies on his back and that means that he's going to snore like a trooper. That is something else that you need to be aware of if you're going to get a French Bulldog, is that they're going to snore a lot and all the time, you know. Number five is that they constantly make noise. Now, this is obviously to do with their breathing. You know, if your Frenchie is making noise all the time that sounds like they're snorting, that, that means that they've probably not got very good nostrils and that you should probably get this checked out. Most Frenchies, such as Miko, don't snore all the time. He just makes little noises all the time. There's constant noises all the time, like this when he's trying to bite me. But when he gets excited, that is when they make the snorting noises, and that is when it's completely normal and healthy for them to make the snorting noises. Speaking to the breeder before we got Miko, before we got introduced to the French Bulldogs, that is what we got told as to when to look out for any abnormal noises. So all these noises that he's doing now, these are completely fine. This isn't him snorting. This is literally just him making noises as he's trying to chew and lick everything, like I mentioned before. Didn't I? Number six is contrary to belief, even though they're short haired dogs, they molt like crazy, okay? Like crazy. And don't make the mistake that we have of having crisp white bed sheets that now are just looking like they've got speckles of black all over them because of his hair. They molt like crazy and everywhere. Doesn't matter what time of the year, your pooch is going to be molting. 
Number seven is that insurance is expensive, okay? Even if your Frenchie doesn't have problems, it's completely checked and he's fine or she's fine, insurance companies put on a premium because it is a French Bulldog. Because they are part of that short-faced dog, they're going to add on extra pounds on there just for the name of the dog. So be prepared for that. The best insurance that we found was with Animal Friends and we pay about 40 to 50 pounds a month for Miko. You want to make sure that you've got at least 7,000 pounds a year coverage because if something goes wrong or if they need boa surgery, which is to realign their nostrils, then that's going to cost you a hefty amount of money. So even though it's expensive, it is so important that you do have insurance on your dog, even more so with a French Bulldog because of their renowned problems. It is really, really important that you do make that investment in your dog. Number eight is French Bulldogs are pretty lazy. And not only that, if it's a hot day, even if it's not even like hot, but it's just mild, your Frenchie is most likely going to struggle on a walk. We have learned from experience that taking Miko on a walk, even in the evenings when it's mild, he cannot walk longer than 10 minutes before he starts to pant. And when the dog starts to pant, that is obviously when they have had too much. He has constant water on walks and we never walk him on days when it's too hot. But French Bulldogs particularly, because of their short faces, they can't really withstand long exertions of exercise. But long walks aren't really necessary and when your Frenchie may enjoy it, or like Miko, he may completely hate walks. Exercising is important, but of course in moderation. Number nine is that they are more than likely going to have a sensitive stomach. So you hear all the time about Frenchies with allergies, Frenchies that can't have grain, Frenchies that can't have turkey, and it is the truth. We started Miko out on just a basic food, and let me tell you, we suffered. The furniture and the flooring suffered from that decision. Most Frenchies do have sensitive stomachs and quite a few do have allergies and things. With Miko, we then switched him to a hypoallergenic grain-free food and he is absolutely fine and we haven't had a problem since. On the first foods that he was on, he constantly got hives all over his stomach and in his ears, which of course was uncomfortable and I was bathing them and medicating them every night and that was just down to the food. So that's why it's really important to find a food that your Frenchie reacts well to and doesn't have these kind of reactions because there is one out there. You will find it. Sometimes with these hypoallergenic foods, it is important to remember that they can be a little bit more expensive. Personally, we now have Miko on Wainwrights and we have been getting on so well with Wainwrights. They also have deals on most of the time with their biscuits. We do have him on dry biscuits most of the time and we have tried on wet food before, but... Like I mentioned, Frenchies fart a lot and the wet food made it a thousand times worse. So we do incorporate it every now and then, but if you're looking for some food for your Frenchie, definitely look at Wainwrights. We have amazing experience with their foods and Miko loves them. We switch it up in flavours every now and then just to keep him keen. But yeah, you've just got to play around with the food until you find something that your Frenchie agrees with. Number 10 is that once you have a Frenchie, you will never not be able to have a Frenchie. In your life getting a french bulldog was the best decision we have ever made he is the most loving dog and we are both lovers of dogs we've both had variations of different breeds in our lives and yeah we love all dogs but french bulldogs to me just seem like the next step up on loving affectionate and loyal dogs i've never seen a dog like it i've never seen a dog as friendly as miko he is the world's most friendliest dog. Anybody that knows me in real life and anybody that's met Miko will know that he is such a big softy. Not only that, the community of people with French Bulldogs is amazing. I'm part of so many incredible Facebook pages. And also when you're out and there's another Frenchie on a walk, you best believe you're going to go and talk to them because that's just what you do. When you get a Frenchie, you will see all the other Frenchies that have been there in the world. They'll then become visible to you. Trust me, we see them on every single walk now and we never used to. Probably because they're more popular now, but still, you just become so enlightened to Frenchies and you just have a radar for them. And once you want one, you're going to... That was a fart. He just farted right then. Once you have one Frenchie... You're going to want another. They're better in pairs. We are considering another Frenchie down the line for Miko to have a little companion. But yeah, in summary, despite all of those facts, good and bad, French Bulldogs are the most incredible breed of dog. Anybody that has one is so lucky to have a Frenchie in their lives. I count myself lucky every single day to have a dog like Miko. 
my dog that is so loving and caring and empathetic he knows when i'm upset he never leaves my side if i'm crying and yeah frenchies are the best dog so if you're watching this thinking should i get a frenchie the answer is yes there's just certain things that you've got to consider along the way which of course you've got to consider with other breeds of dog anyway it's not just french bulldogs but yeah a hundred percent get that frenchie so that concludes today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. It was a little bit different to what I normally do. But most of you have seen Miko in some of my videos. So I thought, let's make him the star of the show and let's do a video all about French Bulldogs. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this might have given you some handy tips and handy facts that might help you in your decision to get in your dog. Or if you do have a Frenchie, these might have been humorous to you or you might be able to relate. Let me know in the comments below if that is the case. And also let me know if you're considering getting a Frenchie, if you've got a puppy. I love to know what you guys are up to. So don't forget to let me know. If, like I say, you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you're new here, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and become part of the gang. I now upload once a week on a Sunday at 7pm UK time. And there's plenty more exciting content coming. I've got lots of plans. So I hope you'll have a lovely evening and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye.